This is a CBHA. CBHA has a uh, moderated surface, as you can tell, increments on their uh, services here at CBHA. And the increments that they got, since they have uh, the uh, discretionary for the virus and the virus 19. So the uh, virus 19 is a serious matter here at CBHA since they have uh, moderated, calibrated most of these actions here at the uh, CBHA. And the CBHA has a uh, uh, outlook on their moderated issues with CBHA, which is uh, moderated on uh, the patient's drop off the pharmacy and the uh, pharmacy. As you can see, they have uh, COVID-19. COVID-19 has uh, serious matters on increments on the CBHA. They have serious matters in the uh, CBHA. So the COVID-19 has a uh, multi capabilities on uh, protecting and serving the community as a uh, as a service, and they're starting to realize COVID-19 starting to appreciate the CBHA the CBHA capabilities of the COVID-19. Get little siblings, little children, siblings, household, family members, their life care services or uh, social services, DHCPS offices. Ingrams on CBHA and also their clinic and their medical facilities and their increments of uh, serving the community. They're starting to realize that the service for the CBHA and their services that uh, they don't have these advantages, they don't have the advantages. And uh, they're starting to realize that the services that they got here, they can't, uh, they're starting to realize what uh, Columbia Basin Health Associates do for the community. Executive team, as you can see, Mr. Greg Bamberg, President Chief Executive Officer, Leo Gaddick, Vice President Programs, Dr. Hogue, Mean Chief Medical Officer, he did my medical, he did my, uh, my looking at my dental and my x-ray, my x-ray and my increments. Mr. Dr. Hung Mi Chief, Medical Officer. Avalon Chief Dental Officer is Alvin Hai Chief. Mr. Kelly Carlson, Vice President of Mystery Service. Dillis Field Chief Operating Officer. Kent Marston Brucker, Chief Financial Officer. David Gomez, Vice President of Operations. Randall Stephen, Chief Operations Officer. Blake Bradley, Vice President, Business Development. Board Directors, Mike Garza, Chairman, Jan Janelle Anderson, Vice Chairman, Joe Manmerger, Treasurer, Dory Brent, Secretary, Everett Cole, Member, Maxine Taylor, Member, Martin Geller, Member, Deborah Buss, Member, Mary M Rosles, Member, Pete Perez, Member, Maria Casadilla, Member, and Martha Holt, Member. As you can see, the uh, Columbia CBHA, CBHA, people, uh, are starting to reflect and see what the uh, what CBHA can do for the community and their services. The COVID-19 and their services and popular services as you can see. You can see that uh, their service for the CBHA. CBHA has uh, a different perspective on what uh, their capabilities of providing for the community is. And CBHA intakes all these individuals from services that have insurance coverage, Apple, Medicare, A, B, and C, private insurance. If they pay three, like three, myself, I pay three different agencies. 
for my services for uh, for any kind of service and then Cooper says CBHA they have a medical plan and a policy number and also your uh, social security driver's license your social security runs your medical card runs your uh, your ABC and you're going to tell them what uh, services you got and uh, it does show that you're a used citizenship. So they start, people are starting to reflect what CBHA does for the community. What they do for the service for the community of CBHA. And they have all these processing legalities and uh, intake service like they did at WorkSource. When they did the intake at WorkSource, they shut the whole town down. They quarantined the whole state of Washington down, along with the 36 states, which are 50 states, Depart DOL, Department of Licensing, and also the Freddie Courthouse, Melissa McKnight, Assessor Auditor, Melissa McKnight, and also Loressa Perez, Human Resources. Taking serious message of the COVID-19 Mr. J. Inslee and also administration offices, and which was contacted by phone at the Freda Courthouse, Freda Justice Department, which is Superior District Municipal and Appeals Office, and higher courts. These uh, systems and COVID-19 is a serious, serious matter. Process intake and work source in Moses Lake, the Moses Lake Police Department, 411 South Boston. Moses Lake City Hall at 401 South Balsam, and also the increments of their services for our tax, water, sewer, and business license increments, and emergency shutdown COVID-19. This is a serious, serious matter. The March primary presidential election was on its way, and then COVID-19 shut all doors and increments of shutting down all agencies, facilities, and systems, as you see, Department of Licensing, the DOL, and that's, uh, of course, Mr. Vasquez and Ms. Vasquez in Moses Lake, Washington, and Moses Lake Department DOL, the Freda DOL, the Clearwater Kennewick DOL, and all these 37 states, which are 50 states, and in increments of this virus, COVID-19, outbreak. And the federal facilities, they're starting to realize what uh, CBH capabilities does in a population here in uh, Fellow, Washington. Now we got the Highway 26, we got Highway South 395, we got uh, services here at the main CBHA, and uh, they got individual services here at CBHA. And this location here is for the People People Bus. The People People Bus takes all their services and increments to a serious, serious manner. And uh, getting the oxygen intakes, the aspirators, the uh, APRA Life Care used to run oxygen tanks for the mouth. And then they got backup battery packs for making phone calls, and then they got uh, canisters for your water, for your H2O. No pop, no sugar, no Gatorade, no Powerade, straight H2O. To uh, fight and support the COVID-19, providing services for the community, making sure they have medical supplies, food, hygiene, and any kind of source of material for sending payments to your sewer water or or in case, any case to do it a pause inquiry if you have to pay off your credit card or if you're in a courtroom and you got a uh, court date and then there's no more it's COVID-19 everything's shut down except superior court runs seven days a week see nobody doing somebody walking on the sidewalk like myself and uh, officer attacking me in a way, have no ones for my arrest. An officer announcing that you have Miranda rights, you have the right to remain silent, anything you say, we've used in court of law. 
if you can't provide it, if you, you know, if you can't provide yourself a lawyer or attorney, they will rep will have one represent you. Whoa, here, wait a minute. Here. See, when you arrest somebody, you have to have warrants, you have to stand warrants, and plus, you have to cause physical harm to someone, someone else, or have some kind of individual weapon in your hand, or display any sort of violence against any individual, officer, state patrolman, uh, city ordinance staff member, a member of uh, CBHA, a member of uh, of a hospital at 14th Avenue, accountant, chief accountant like himself, and a fellow in 14th, or any of the aviation helicopters that transport export people that are badly injured. Let's uh, make an example. Like Moses Lake police officer got shot with the uniform on, with the badge, gun, utility belt, got shot. And they transported him, flew him to Spokane, Washington, on a helicopter, just like Lady Lord's helicopter lands, like Cadillac Hospital in Richland, Washington helicopter lands. And of course, listen here, there's a helicopter pad here in a fellow. CBHA's uh, on the same page, COVID-19, for shutting down emergency facilities. We have doctors, lawyers, judges. We got Mr. Felice, 190 East Main Street. We got Mrs. Carol J. Benzel, Judge. Superior Court Judge Dixon, Adams County, two term West Broadway, Whitsville, Washington, 9916. That's like, if you're stranded and you have no, you ran a message I read to you, you're on the crosswalk. Yeah, we, we got documentation. We got all kinds of documentation. 